The 600-acre Nongnooch Tropical Garden, just outside Thailand's resort city of Pattaya, is one of the most stunning attractions in the Land of Smiles. Besides its traditional shows and animal attractions, this is a must-see destination for gardeners and botanists, both amateur and advanced. The world loses around one and a half acres of rainforest every second. So the team at Nong Nooch have joined hands with other conservationists to preserve plants and propagate some of the planet's highly endangered species. This garden has evolved into one of the largest collections of living plants in Asia and its diversity is world-renowned. Uh, this is the Hortus Botanicus, the Latin name for a botanical garden. Uh, and this is where we have the uh, uh, botanical collection, uh, which means the, the plants that we collect uh, for scientific purposes uh, and also for conservation. Many of them are, are very rare, uh, some of them are extinct in the wild. Uh, so that's what we're going to look at now. On this day, we were venturing behind the scenes to an area of Nong Nooch that the general public rarely sees. Our guide was Anders Lindstrom, who is a world-renowned expert in cycads and has worked here since the gardens first opened in 1980. Besides its vast palm and orchid collection, Nong Nooch has one of the world's most impressive collections of cycads. What is a cycad? Well, these seed plants are among the oldest plant species on the planet and date back to around 280 million years ago. Well, this looks like a palm tree to me, but I'm sure it's not. <laughs> uh, no, it's actually a cycad. Uh, the difference between cycads and palms are actually that uh, palms has flowers, right. usually very small flowers, but cycads have cones like, like pine trees. So they're actually related to, to pine trees, the, the gymnosperms. I mean, the base of it actually looks like a, a huge pine cone, doesn't it? It does, <laughs> it does. So we, I, I stop at this particular species just to highlight a little bit what we're doing here. Um, and if you can look at the, the label here. Right, this one right in front of us here. Yes. So let's see. Now I'll let you pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what's, what we're putting on the labels for, for the scientists to come here and visit uh, these are Semiaceae, which is the family. Uh, right. Families is the biggest sort of group you can have. Well, unless you separate uh, animals and plants. But you have a family, uh, which is in this case Semiaceae, mm -hmm. uh, which is um, most of the, the cycads. And then we have the genus. Uh, this is a, a plant from South Africa, Encephalartos, uh, which is the genus. And there's right. a number of species in each genus. Um, and then the species is Dyrianus. So it's named after Dyer, who was a professor in, in Pretoria in South Africa. Uh, and then we see the country of, of, of uh, origin, Republic of South Africa. Um, and then also the number up in the, the far right corner there. Yes. That's our accession number. So we have a database uh, which we share with, with uh, uh, other botanical garden like Kew, with Edinburgh, Smithsonian and others. Um, where we database uh, all our plant uh, information. So it's act uh, actually all the data, where it was collected, who collected it, by who, uh, the permit we needed to collect it and to import it, and if anyone uh, wants to know that. Uh, and this is very important, especially the locality. Um, it's very important for the scientists. They want right. to make sure it's actually from a wild collected source, not a, a hybrid or anything like that okay. uh, if you want to have a uh, DNA sample or something like that. Now <clears throat> this species only only grows in one single um, nature reserve and it's uh, less than 200 plants left in the wild. Wow so this is a very rare plant. Th this yeah. is a, indeed a very rare plant. Gosh. And uh, so uh, no, no clippings allowed? No <laughs> clippings allowed, no. We actually, this section is not open to the public. Right, so um, we're getting a very special tour here behind the scenes. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes, you do. This is very spiky too, isn't it? It's it is. So I mean, in Africa it's quite dry. Yeah. Uh, so they have to, like cacti in the Americas, you have the cycad here which is spiny to prevent from 
from animals actually eating on the leaves in the mm. dry season. Uh, and they, the cycads are very fire resistant and also uh, drought resistant. Yeah, it looks like a pretty tough plant to me. It is, it is. <laughs> The garden focuses on Southeast Asian, Tropical American and Central African species of cycads, but a collection of almost every species can also be seen here. In connection with conservation agencies, this is an important conservation area for this endangered and ancient plant group, and Anders manages a major cycad gene bank on site. Interesting job here, and um, from what I understand, you've been here a pretty long time too. Uh, yes, I've been here 21 years. Wow! Now you came here especially to work in the gardens. Yes, I was hired to be in charge of these plant group, the cycads. And now you've got your sort of green thumb on many other types of plants, I can imagine. Yes, yes. Now <laughs> I'm the creator of all the living plants here, and uh, uh, we have a total of 18,000 different uh, species. Wow, how do plants. you keep track of all that? must be amazing. You've well, got like, a whole team, I guess, helping uh, we you. Do, we do, yes. We do have a whole team of, of people who are uh, recording, making maps where they are, um, yeah. and how we got them in and so on. So that's my main job is actually to keep the scientific uh, information And And what's your, what's your overall mission in terms of, uh, of what it is you're doing with the plants here in the gardens? I mean, it's not just a tourist attraction, is it? No, no, no. We try to. Um, uh, one thing is, of course, to conserve the the, the diversity of plant material uh, in the tropics, and uh, we also hybridizing and producing new uh, kinds uh, for landscaping or for for ornamental plants. So we crossing different things. Right. So you're crossbreeding. Yes. And are those plants sort of ending up being sent all around the world? Oh yes, some of them do. Yes. Yeah. And we tissue culture them. We we clone them. Uh, by the tens of thousands and then export them, yes. So, you, I mean, people talk a lot about saving the animals and saving the planet, but yeah. saving the plants is pretty important too, isn't it? It is, it is, because without plants, you know, we can't live. Yeah, uh, Most true. of our food and medicine comes from the plant world. Yes. Um, but, yeah, plants are not really that appreciated as animals. Yes. <laughs> so that's the thing. Yeah. But, yeah, they're pretty cool. Which one's your favourite? Well, the cycads are my favourite. This favorite, one is yes. your favourite, yeah. yeah? There is a, quite a few varieties all over in the tropics from just, African. Wow, now just watch you don't poke yourself in the eye with that one. Yes, It's pretty yes. nasty. The, it <laughs> is, very nasty. But very, very cool. Ouch. <laughs> the efforts of the Nongnuj team have been recognised and applauded both near and far. This garden is a multiple winner of Thailand's Kinneri Tourism Awards and in both 2010 and 2011 Nong Nooch won the gold medal at the Chelsea Flower Show in London, the most prestigious flower show in the world. Do yourself a favour and spend a day in the garden at Nong Nooch Hattier.